controlled chaos here. So Sean Murray on Monday posted out an emoji and I missed it. But I caught it today and the emoji is a smiley face with horns. And this is really interesting because when Sean Murray posts an emoji, that means an update's coming soon. It could be this Wednesday. It normally follows up, but normally what follows between that is we see updates happen on steam to the external we see sales starting to happen so if those happen on tuesday we'll most likely get an update on wednesday if i don't see those i'm guessing most likely on the next wednesday the next week and now i want to go into what this emoji could be there are a lot of speculations out there of what it could be because it's a smiling face with horns that represents sort of like a devilish character but this one's purple and not red so i'm not leaning towards the devil side of things and underworld and stuff like that I'm leaning more along the lines of other things because this emoji could also mean trouble. It could mean a bad boy, a bad girl, general mischief, and other things I'm not going to mention on here because it's more adult rated. But that's where I'm going with these is those other ends of things besides the adult rated stuff. I know they won't go that direction. I know they will not sexualize no man's sky it's just not the way they've been doing things i think they'll end up more in the trouble or mischief end of things because of the emoji being purple if the emoji was more red i would head more towards that devil type of area and bad boy bad girl area that they're talking about and with that it's when you deal with with trouble mischief mischief could be that they're changing up a lot of things uh the the sentinels could get more mischief or, or get more troublesome for us but they've already done an update dealing with the sentinels so i'm not leaning towards that that much but that could happen another thing that they could mean with trouble is that there's a new maybe alien race that comes in and causes havoc it could mean that the races start causing trouble with one another and we get like a war situation it could mean that there's trouble with the space stations because we've all seen from some of these other youtubers and you know reddit posts and twitter posts about space stations so space stations could be coming into play and there could be a stub uh, a storyline where there's trouble with the space stations and we need to use that console in the space station for preventing the trouble from happening there's a lot there that could happen now sean murray could be doing his normal tricks every so often where he sort of guides us down a path but in an odd direction so this purple uh, smiley face with horns could actually be his way of misdirecting us and we could actually l l lead towards the the devilish areas and so it could be more of a sort of like interesting way of doing uh, more enhancements to dealing with fire and hellish type things it could be maybe they bring back in the flamethrower option for the weapons it could be or multi-tool should i say it could be that they do some enhancements on the uh hot worlds and stuff like that and, and create more of an interesting thing they're dealing with the lava and the fire worlds and stuff like that it could be that there's spatial anomalies that happen that cause fire damage to your ship when you fly through them there's so many different options and directions to take this i don't know what way to go because sean murray does so many different emojis that are out there like the orange for the origins update it just are represented with the name the snowflake for the fractal update which you know once again played on the name of fractals because snowflakes are a fractal form 
and things like that so this could be sort of a play on words but they just recently did that so i'm not leaning heavily towards the word play on the name i'm leaning more towards sort of like when they did the pirate flags for pirates type of idea and stuff like that that's where i'm leaning on this so uh, like i said i mainly think it is trouble mischief and things like that it could be that maybe one of the things i'd love to see is enhancement to the bounty hunting system would be nice that would add into that trouble and mischief you're getting more of that bounty hunter interaction it could be i'd love love to see this that you get ground combat for the pirates and enemies to attack you on the ground that would be really really cool so there's so many ideas that pop into my head. I can't wait to see what's going to be in this update. I hope that there's a lot of new features because the last couple updates they've been doing have been more adding to certain consoles and balancing and fixing issues and things like that quality of life updates which are good because they're heading a certain direction in cleaning all of this up so i think this update is going to lean more towards actual in-game stuff i'm not thinking it's going to be an expedition because they just did one with the last update it was a quality of life update with an expedition this one i think is literally going to add in new stuff i wouldn't be surprised if we see new models of stuff new um ways to play the game would be very interesting let me know what you guys think comment down below me your guys's ideas on what you think is going to happen with this and have a great day